Come here. That IC truck. Can help me. Okay, set up for me. Alright, take some dirt. Take some dirt out of here and put it in here. Like that. Can you do that? Here, take some dirt and put it in the cups. 
All right, now do it in the other one. This one right there. Perfect. One more. Maybe. No, no, no. Right there. Good. All right. Now what we can do is we can take this flower. Take that. Take this out. Go ahead. Take it out. Take it out like this. We're gonna dump a little bit of water. Okay. All right. Now get a little bit more dirt. Mix it up. Get a little bit more dirt and throw it in there. Good. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, that's good. So I've had a lot of challenges along the way with this van build, just not really having the childcare to help me out with kiddo, um, fighting the rain on days like today, and just not really having the proper tools. But I've learned so much and I'm really grateful for that because it's definitely been a project and I feel like I've picked up some new skills along the way. You know, I've learned a lot um, just about like different power tools and cutting wood, learning to cut angles in the wood. I have this um, like gap in between the roof and the side of the van because this van is full of curves. I mean, it is, it is not a square van. It is a bumpy, curvy, complicated van. So I learned that I need to cut a couple of angles in the wood in order to get it to fit in that. I'm just going to tie together the ceiling and the wall with, you know, a board that's like slanted. So we're going to try it and see if it works. To be completely and 100% honest, the more I remind myself to not overcomplicate this, the better luck I am having. So I'm trying to think of all these creative designs and all these ways around the curves and edges and loopholes, and then I come up with some simple solution that I can kind of cut and paste together, and it's not complicated. So that is my new motto, don't overcomplicate. <laughs>
honor of not complicating it, I'm marking places that aren't aligned perfectly or there's little tiny gaps or it just looks kind of amateur. I'm marking it with plant and that's where I'm gonna hang my plants, so. Solution has been found. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not going to lie, I had a pretty tough time trying to create a little like window seal is what I was trying to do because I wanted to leave one of the windows open so we could, you know, wake up and wherever we might be, um, you know, have a beautiful backdrop to wake up to in the morning. So I left one of the windows open and I was trying to make like a window seal for it y'all I did the best I could okay it was a little rough but um I figured if I paint it black that will kind of hide some of the flaws and it actually seems like it's kind of working so wish me luck Get down. Get down.
whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, I kid you not, like 95% of this whole entire project is me just having no idea if something's gonna work out. And then it does or it doesn't. And if it doesn't, I just come up with a new idea. But so far, it seems to be working out kind of. <laughs> Hey, we're getting our car looked at so we can get it fixed for our road trip. Do you want to go visit Uncle Wesley <laughs> and Aunt Dakota? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm so excited. We got to get it fixed though first. Like wind 